Y'all are ruining Scrabble for me. I am never playing Scrabble again. Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited. I haven't watched this show in like three weeks, I think. It's been like three weeks since I l filmed my last reaction to Only Murders in the Building. And I all the episodes are out now. It's like the end of October. All of the episodes are out. Um, I have managed to stay away from spoilers. I'm very excited. I have no idea what's going to happen next. I know that now Martin and Oliver, Martin, Martin is Martin Short. Martin Short is Oliver. Charles, Charles Brazos, Charles and Oliver, they know that Mabel knew Tim now because of Oliver's son. Yeah, I don't know what's going to happen. I'm very excited. I'm very nervous. Um, we saw tie-dye guy was following my girl Mabel. Love Mabel, love Selena Gomez. We, we've been here before. We all know this. Okay, um, I'm just gonna get right into it because I'm really excited, <laughs> I'm really nervous. I don't know what's gonna happen and I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm so excited. Hulu presents, oh my gosh, okay. Value, worth, the price of life. What's the easiest way to know how you fit into the equation? Come to New York. Who is narrating? Wait, is this Oscar who's narrating? Not like that coat though. Yo, is that Oscar? It's priceless. It's special. I'm... Just like her. Ooh. Uh, uh. I don't like it. Special just like her. Wait. <laughs> yes, Mabel. Get him. It is Oscar. I knew it. Oh. I guess I do have to. I've been waiting a long time for this. For this. Me too. Oh, okay, wait, so I think they might have had a thing. Maybe they did have a thing. I don't know. I'm just happy that Mabel's happy. Wait! Hold on. If, okay, if Oscar's the guy in the tie-dye hoodie, that means that Oscar's the guy that Mabel is seen, like, is, like, dead. <laughs> wait! What's happening? Oh my god! So, okay, in the very first episode, we see like a flash forward and, uh, you know, Charles and Oliver are running and they see Mabel and she's uh, like, she's covered in blood and she's over tie-dye guy, who's also covered in blood. Does Mabel kill Oscar? Does Oscar die? We just got him back! Mabel is a sweet young woman who promised not to keep secrets from God, there she is. What? <gasps> tie dye guy. It's tie dye guy. Okay, we, we, we gotta follow. Okay, him. they're following them. Car, you stay on. It. All right, I'll wait. Wait, you have a car? Go ahead, <laughs> on foot, and then call me when you know where they are, and then I'll swing by and pick you up. Okay. Getting away. You want them? I want them, but I cannot run a Camry. Stay on. I cannot run a Camry. <laughs> How do they not? They're definitely gonna see. Him. <laughs> He's just hiding behind a person. Oh, I love his car. Oh my god. Did you hear about Tim? Yeah, my first time stepping back in that building. Wait, you were there that... Oh my god, you're tie-dye guy. You noticed, when you brought up his name, she got very quiet and had us looking at other suspects. Actually, it was you who did that. <laughs> <laughs> stop thinking the worst of her and you yeah know. okay i like charles she lied to us charles or did you miss that fact she has a painful past okay oh god charles old hey oh. hey mabel hi charles <laughs> we're recording people without their consent yeah no 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 I'm, I'm good i'm just uh chilling at washington square park talk to you later <laughs> You're lying to your boyfriend because you feel like even the way you're thinking about me is cheating. Oh, shit. What? What? She don't have a boyfriend, Oscar. Y'all would be cute together. 
I don't know. I'm so conflicted. I want good things for Mabel, but I feel like I know it's going to happen. <gasps> they all have the whale tattoo. Who gave them to us? <clears throat> your cousin Tavo. And what's your cousin Tavo's government name? Gustavo Mora. <gasps> With a tattoo shop on Shore Road. Oh. Look at me. How did I miss that? There, so they don't see us. <laughs> so they don't see us. Our car is smoking, but they won't see us. Give her $5 worth of diesel, she'll be fine. $5 worth of diesel? Do not put diesel in that car. Hey, you might want to pop the hood. No thanks, we're fine. Hey, my cousin Peanut could tow this for you. Take it to his shop, he can use the work. I can give you a lift. I'm Lucian. Hi, Lucian. Hey, can you help us follow those two? Sure. I follow people all the time. <laughs> I follow people all the time. What, um, what kind of people? Why are you following people? Oh, he's got a cactus. So, who are we following? Well, we're doing a podcast based on uh, murder in the building we live in. And the girl in the car is one of the co-hosts, but now we think she may have had something to do with the whole thing. You know, Vaughn and I, we got a little podcast. Everybody's got a podcast. Dogs. Your favorite horticulture home. What part of Long Island is this? Uh, this is Bayport, baby. Every time I come out here, some shit pops off. Oh, yeah. Bayport is where she's from, right? Where they give out cigarettes and razor blades on Halloween. <laughs> Woman. So, this girl, she was helping you solve the murder. But now you think she's involved. She's not involved. Just because things aren't what they seem doesn't mean she's a bad person. Maybe she just doesn't trust y'all yet. Exactly. Thank you. Now let's go see why Tim was hanging out with my sketchy cousin. Yo, I know we just drove out here, can we please let this go? No. I mean, I know he probably wants to let it go because he's the murderer. What happened ruined your life, and now Tim is dead. I just need some answers, but I have to. Yeah. And I have to not. Oh, I'm so conflicted. Are they going to keep, like, following the car and not Mabel? Oh, no, they're in the tattoo shop. What the fuck are you guys doing here? Well, we could say the same thing about you. Did you follow me? No. So we didn't up. follow you. She's not a killer because if she was, she wouldn't be telling everybody that she wants to freaking stab them with a knitting needle. You came back. This is Oscar. Also a friend. Also not the killer. I saw you going up the stairs the night Tim Kono was murdered. I saw you shoot a crocodile that was smuggling drugs. <laughs> <laughs> the was just one of three DVD sets in the prison library. God, prison sounds like hell. Oh my God, my head is spinning with all. Oh my God. No, 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 go go on. on. I need to know. I need to know more. And then I heard a fucking. <gasps> oh. Oh no. It's not Oscar. Wait. Oh. Ah. Tim was murdered. Damn, he was right. Tim called. <gasps> I was so confused. Tava, what were you saying? Tim thought he was gonna get murdered? Fuck yeah. You've been trying to take down this black market jewelry dealer named <gasps> Oh. There's so much shit. Again, I found all these in his apartment. Why'd she bring him with her? Okay, so he was a black market jewelry dealer. He was trying to take him down? Whoa. So much to unpack. There is so much to unpack. I literally, I'm confused. I don't know what to think anymore. My only, like my only theory was Oscar. And now that's out the window. It wasn't Oscar or was it? I don't know. We're born alone. Spend most of our time alone. Then we all go out alone. I'm so confused. Because all of these episodes are now being narrated by different people. Detective Williams, we've only seen her in the very, like, in one scene in the first episode. And now she's narrating an episode? Like, Oscar's been mentioned a lot, so I can kind of understand that. I don't know. Oh, she's listening to their podcast. What are you doing? You say we're doing a nursery together. I waited. As long as I could. <gasps> Do we have sapphics? Yes, love. Oh shit, that's you they're talking about? What the, what, what the fuck are they saying? You know what, my 
Yard dog oh my god, the yard dog homies! The yard dog homies, yay! We love that. We made friends and they promoted us. Where are you going? What do you say? D, come on. You know, you didn't have to hit me with the work shit. She didn't know. Honey, you're trying to push people out. That's not good. Don't push people out. Let her in. She's pregnant. She's dealing with a lot. I found them in Tim's apartment. I went back alone after we left. Kona was obsessed with buying pieces from Angel. <sighs> Sucks Tim died before he got the one he really wanted. Engagement ring? Engagement ring? I'm gonna guess you're not coming. Oh. You come to Bayport? I have to hear from his school. Is that her mom? You don't call me? Yeah. Hey, mom. Oops. <laughs> Shit's about to go down. Not submitted. The toxicology oh, report was not submitted. Yo, is somebody on the inside involved? It's my fault. When my rich sister offered to take Mabel for the school breaks, I thought she'd go to the city, see museums and plays, be inspired to dream. It's about. not a bad thing. You can't blame yourself for like something bad happening to her. Life sucks sometimes and bad shit happens. You can't avoid bad stuff happening you know but your daughter is extraordinary she's funny intuitive weird she's weird <laughs> in a good way in, in the, in in the, the best, best ways. way the way all your favorite people are weird please leave her be don't leave her be she needs friends it's been the most alive i felt in a decade oh see i knew that they were gonna need each other Mabel, don't leave them now. I love them. No. Don't say goodbye. She's not going to be able to say goodbye. No. She's not going to be able to say goodbye. Just like I knew those podcast guys. <gasps> Facts. Facts. And she believes now, too, doesn't she? She what believes it now. The tax reports, they weren't submitted. Now join them. Join them. So now yes. you swoop in there and reopen the case like a goddamn hero boss and just No, you have to listen to her. Submit something that means that they want all hands off. And I can't get up to Sergeant by opening a case that I all mm, you have to. No, but you have to. There's so many answers that you can give them. Is this her childhood bedroom? It's so cute. I know it's nothing compared to what you went through, but I had it pretty hard after everything happened. Yeah. Seems like we all did. Yeah, I mean, that'll fuck anybody up. Um, is that the picture from the night? That's the picture from the night. Yeah. Oh, what? Shit. Is there something? What? Is there something we... What? <gasps> oh my god! Why was Tim after the ring that Zoe had on? The did Tim him? kill Zoe? She didn't have it on. Not when she died. Whoa. This has been going on a lot longer than you think. Wow. Holy shit. So does this mean she lost the ring? When she was arguing with somebody? God, I feel so bad for Oscar. I've thought about this moment a lot thought about you a lot are they in love I just want her to be happy and they're both really hot they look good together <gasps> and now they're kissing I love love Jimmy Fallon the actor who played Brazos has his own podcast now what? is Demas Chicken Wraps presents colon only murders in the building. <laughs> Laugh about it all you want. They're talking about it on Jimmy Fallon. Everybody loves the Demon's Chicken Wrap. Look, they might be making fun of you, but like, overall, pretty good exposure. Do you understand how huge... Yeah, see, it's a good thing. Do you know what my cousins back on Niseros are going to do when they... It's a good this? thing. They're going to shit themselves, Ollie. They're gonna squat right down on their goat fields <laughs> and shit themselves in envy. Yeah, it's a good thing, yay! That's, you see that? That coin, 
is my entire family legacy. My yaya, yeah, yeah. Amelia, was a young woman when the Turks started slaughtering mm -hmm. all the Greeks, forcing them to flee their home. Desperate to flee, my yaya made a trade with a Turkish soldier. Her necklace for a spot on a boat to take her to America. Mm -hmm. The soldier let her keep two coins. One to invest in a new future. And one for luck. That's so sweet. And your father passed it to you. We, uh, Did you steal it? <laughs> vowed he'd take the coin to his grave rather than give it to me. Hmm. Well, obviously he changed it. No, I stole it. Oh, I dug the fucker up and ripped it out of his cold, dead hands. <laughs> Saw that coming! I can't tell if that's real or not. <laughs> He's laughing now. You, well, my Yaya uh, Evangelia taught me to make investments in the people who've been loyal mm -hmm. to you. Even when there's risk. I have a whole separate business in her name. The old men are sad characters. <laughs> Guess. The it's old men are sad. But they love all of them That's together. The best friends I've had in a really long time. Yeah. But seriously, how old they're are they? like really old. Yeah. They're like really old, but like, but like I love them. Seriously. They're like the Three Musketeers. Yes, I knew it. I knew she wasn't gonna be able to say no. She has to. She needs to figure it out. Yeah. She needs to know how it happened. Or what happened? How it happened. Everything. That's right. So we have to take that check, uh, and we have to rip it up. Don't rip it up. Don't rip it up. Don't rip it up. Don't rip it up. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, well, thank God. Oh. Right. What's this account? It's not in Teddy's name. Well, he said he had a separate business account. For Look it. at the name. Angel Inc. <gasps> what? He's offering. Sylvia's tamales and I picked up some hummus. This hummus expired yesterday. But we both know you're gonna eat it. <laughs> Just a fork and hummus? Are you really gonna make me say that? The power of friendship! Also rank us. I'm dying to know who your favorite is. It's Charles. I wanna do this podcast. I have to finish this with you guys. We're friends! Final piece off. <gasps> Information! Someone left this for me at the front desk. It's Tim Kono's phone. Whoa! Yeah, we got one for you. Ah! So much! So much information! So it's Angel. all gonna come together. To Angel. Teddy Demas? Wait, so you're saying... That's right. Our prime sponsor is now our prime suspect. Ooh, that's good. Okay, so who's gonna be narrating this episode? Is this, uh, his son? Oh, so maybe he won't be narrating. Dia, what are you doing over there? Come over here. Was he born deaf or did he have like an accident or something? I think he might have been born deaf. Can you feel it? The way that they're doing the audio in this episode is really cool. Yo, the way the audio is is so, oh, it's so, wait, listening to this on headphones is really kind of cool. It's a little trippy, but like, damn. So is the boy, the boy in 6B is Teddy's son, Theo. This is kind of intense. Yeah. Yeah, you can't like force your son to hear when he's deaf. So. Oh, I don't like the, I don't like the looking, ooh, I don't like that. Maybe it was the killer who gave us the phone trying to set us up. That theory seems super backwards. We just need to figure out the password. Okay, so what does he have to do with it? Break in, but don't be seen or heard. Is he the murderer? Those are good binoculars if he can really see all the way across the street, like, like into the apartment like that. He can see so clearly. I wonder how long it takes to get good at reading lips. So it has to be somebody who lives in the building. So it could be him. 
People talk way too fucking much in this city. Okay, a little fourth wall break. This is gonna be so interesting. Ooh, I'm so into- I'm so into this episode already. Oh my god. So is like his narration gonna be him breaking the fourth wall and signing? Because that's really cute. I like that. I'm getting so much information and I don't know. I have no answers, but I have too much information. The cheese is always right. Okay, he clearly doesn't know how to sign. <laughs> That's really cute. Yo, it is him. Whoa, I don't like him. Weird, sketchy vibes. He just like broke into the apartment. Well, didn't Tim's apartment get cleaned out though? Whose apartment is this then? Oh, it's Teddy's. Whoa, what? Hold up, there's a secret passage? Don't go in, wait. Oh, are these ashes? Shine on funeral home? Oh my God. How are they gonna get away with this? Oh, it's the sun. Oh, oh okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Oh, he doesn't live there. They're on to us. <laughs> He's like, oh, you love podcasts now? You can't listen to them. If there's a problem, I'll fix it. Our enemy's closer. Yo. I'm so confused as to what is going on here. Is it Teddy and Theo? Are they the killers? Are they hiding jewelry in the urns? That's so smart. Who would open an urn? <gasps> he was there. Oh, and he was spying on them. That's so creepy. I don't know how he can read these lips. How can he read everybody's lips? Like his eyesight must be ridiculous. Is that the ring? That's the ring. Is Theo the one that killed Zoe? I mean, why else would he be so, like, freaked out? Is she gonna, like, wave? <gasps> She's signing. And then she took the ring. There is so much to unpack here. And somebody left a glove. Who left a glove? Charles? They are not good detectives. I don't know. I get bad vibes from her. I don't, ugh. I don't, like, I feel bad for him because I feel like she's using him. What are you, ah, uh, what's going on? I'm, what? Happy New Year. <gasps> and he sees the ring. I have a deaf cousin. The ring. I wonder, what is the ring? I'm so intrigued and confused as to how this is all connected. I had so many different theories from what's actually going on right now. What is with all of these secret passageways? Okay, but like, why are they not talking? I understand for the point of the episode, but this is so cute, they're dancing. That's so cute! Teeth? Oh, they're gold teeth! Ew! I guess if you're gonna cremate someone, take the gold teeth. They're playing Scrabble? Sexy? Scary? <laughs> She's like, no, I'm talking about us getting sexy? I don't wanna- I don't care about points. I want us to get sexy. <laughs> he did not just put down the word hard. What is she gonna put down? No! I hate this. I hate this. Y'all have ruined Scrabble for me. What are you, now what? Woody, y'all are ruining Scrabble for me. I am never playing Scrabble again. <laughs> 
Oh! Oh my god, do they take jewelry off of dead people and then sell them illegally? Is that what it is? Holy shit. Teddy's a grave robber. Yeah, exactly! Oh, he can see the shadow. Oh no. What are you doing? Oh, y'all are screwed! What's happening? The boy from 6B. He's not good for you. Cause he wants to be with her? Oh, so they were hooking up. Yeah, they were totally hooking up. I'll get you a real ring someday. I feel so bad for him because I do not think she's... Yeah. <sighs> what the fuck? <sighs> I don't like her. You're very confused about which way the pity flows here? Fuck off! It's obviously not a shitty ring because people have been trying to get it for fucking 10 years. Oh, uh, this is how she died. <gasps> it was an accident. Did Theo kill Tim? Oh. That's not good. He's throwing up. Dad, I froze up. Oh. That's yucky. <laughs> oh. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no. Whatever it is, I can fix it. You cannot fix it. She's dead. How bad? Pretty bad. It's pretty fucking bad. Are you responsible? Yeah, kind of. A little bit. Did anyone see you? Yeah, Tim Kono. So they're killing Tim Kono? Whatever you saw, my boy had nothing to do with this. The other boy, Oscar. People saw him fighting with her. <gasps> no! This isn't difficult, Tim. When they ask you, just say nothing? Or that friend of yours, Mabel? No! He threatened to kill Mabel? What the fuck? Did Charles get some? After all that erotic scrabble playing, I sure hope so. Oh, 78 messages? Oh my god, there's so much going on. Try Theo. They know they've seen everything! Nice hot vegetables! I have to say it every time I see that poster. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Yo, I, I cannot believe everything that just happened in that last episode. I'm so glad we watched three episodes today. Holy crap. I can't believe that. I thought it was Oscar this whole time. Oscar, I'm so sorry. I need time to process everything I just watched. That was really good. I liked the like formatting of that episode with no dialogue between people and then like the muffled audio anytime it was from Theo's perspective. That was really cool. I liked that a lot. He must have great eyesight because he can read people's lips from just looking through a tiny little hole or just like looking through binoculars across an entire courtyard into somebody else's apartment. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I had no idea any of this was gonna happen. This is not where I thought this show was going at all. If you liked the video, don't forget to like and you can also subscribe down below. If you wanna see more of me, you can follow my social medias. They're in the description as always. And other than that, I got nothing else to say. So I will see you all next time. Thanks for hanging out with me, bye.